I cracked the MS Ophthalmology exam with a gold medal with just one book and AI. And all of this was while working full time in residency. Hello, good evening, welcome everyone. First of all, I'd like to begin by conveying my heartfelt gratitude on all the love that you have uh, showered on me over the past few weeks. Thank you so much for these things. First of all, I these are the eight questions that we'll be discussing in today's session and before I start I'd like to convey that how did I go through uh, it by my own personal experience. So just after writing my book that which is the 23rd rank, this is a memoir which is basically describing my journey from MBBS and it eventually comes to the point where I get a good rank in the national entrance exam and uh, what I've poured inside is my mind, my struggles my short successes in that book and that is how quit came across uh, whatever profits that i'm going to get in that will be donated to this particular trust which is shine children home all of the proceedings will go to cancer children for their support now let's dive in my theory exams were on 9th 10th 11th 12th of july and my practical were on 24th of july um, i started with a deep preparation starting from june first so that gives me six weeks and definitely my experience with the fellowship exam helps so if you are uh, watching this video please go through international exams that definitely translates well into the knowledge that is required when you go to your exams your theory exams but let's be practical how to actually go on about the theory prep which books to read but how to present well how to improve the way of writing answers these are the questions that we'll be discussing first which have been asked here let's first discuss about the approach let's first we have four question papers in our degree exam with each of the paper having 10 questions, each question carrying 10 marks, so total 400 marks of theory. The first thing that I did was, I went through all the previous year questions that I had. I was able to get access to around um, 50 or so question papers totally. So that gives me around 12 papers per one paper. The first thing, what we had was basic sciences in the first paper along with investigations, clinical ophthal um, and refraction in second, clinical ophthal and surgical procedures in third and uh, community of the rehabilitation of the blind recent advances in paper 4. So as you can see this covers a wide spectrum and you can't get all of those things in one particular book. The standard books like Parsons, Karski, those are very short and you cannot write four pages out of those particular books that is a fact. So basically what we want is something that is not very voluminous so that it is burdensome but something that is right in the medium length which gives us enough material to write at least four pages we had a 40 page supplementary and four pages per answer is what i went for and i was able to write it for all of my questions you have this feature of taking a photo of the image then you can scan all the letters in that particular uh, paper especially printed letters are very easy to get uh, recognized by the OCR technology and uh, once that scanning is done you can copy paste it into a word file so uh, assimilate all your previous year question papers like that what I have done is something that works for my own uh, university you can do it for your own just take photo scan the printed letters by holding and dragging your uh, fingers and copy paste it into a word file and that is how you uh, accumulate all your question papers and make a word file and use it I went a step further by doing this. So I noted all of the questions on the table of contents of the book that I wanted to read, which is, I went a percentage which I can get from one particular book. I'm a cover to cover person. So this book gives me the highest percentage that I can actually cover from one particular book. So that is around 70% of my questions I could answer through reading this book. Table of contents filled with, as you can see in this video, previous year question marked. So paper one, two, three, four, where relevant based on the topic, I have noted that and I have uh, put on stars to indicate the number of repetitions of those questions. So that gives me an idea on how important that is. Reading selectively those questions, I was able to answer six questions for each of my question papers. As you can see here, these are the four sets of questions that I read before my exam and each of them gave me at least six to seven questions the next day. The most important thing that I'd like to share uh, in this video will be which book to read. So what I went for is a book called as Postgraduate Ophthalmology by Dr. Uh, Zia Chaudhary and Dr. Vanathi. It is a good book. It has uh, a lot of perks. It has detailed context on the author's specialties and that helped me a lot. So uh, what I am saying is by going through what your paper patterns are. For example, so 60 to 70 percent of the questions were from previous year papers and 60 to 70 percent of the syllabus was from this book. Now, where do you get the 100% syllabus because definitely we want 
the best we don't want something that is good we want the best so how do you get that so here comes in the factor of ai it is very important that you use your prompt wisely uh, as uh, is a very well known saying that garbage in garbage out for ai if you put in a prompt which is not relevant then you will not, you won't get the answers which are required so your prompt has to be correct this is the prompt that i used uh, customized prompts you will get a card so i had my own chat gpt card and in which i kept on putting questions one after the other so you can organize your um, ai platform using cards i hope i hope you know that so once you have your own card use it only for those questions and try not to confuse the uh, generative pre trained transformer that takes care of the remaining 30 percent so 70 plus 30 postgraduate of tell by ziya chaudhary is something that i benefited from my personal experience please go for it it is a good book it does have a few errors and few topics are not complete so that is where i used ai that covered the remaining 30 percent and that got me where i am today with, with quite a good performance in my theory papers so that answers the question which was posed by dr swati sharma dr arushi patnagar this is how you can study for ms exam go through this strategy Dr. Abhinav Sonkar and Dr. Chandrima have asked on how to write the paper. So that is again a very important question. Improve presentation basically by actually spacing out and writing precisely. How do you write precisely? Again, that comes through multiple revisions. If you are writing something that's relevant with adequate flowcharts, with adequate diagrams were needed, uh, what was allowed in our theory exam was you can use a black pen and a blue pen. So I so I wrote down the questions in bold with black pen, the subtopics with black pen and normal sentence case. And let's say a case of proposition was asked to us an exam and I wrote the full approach, the prominent mnemonic vein, vascular endocrine, infectious neoplastic. And in each of that, I mentioned the causes and investigations, causes with blue pen and investigations with black pen in brackets and that made it very concise very visible and i think that got me a lot of marks for that particular question so i'd suggest you can use your time well and at the same time present well by using black and blue pen both are allowed and of course for diagrams pencil colors are something that is recommended please follow this strategy and i think that will take care of presentation and also writing on point dr abhishek has asked about pondicherry university where paper one has 10 marker 10 questions whereas paper two to four has two questions with 25 marks and uh, other questions with 10 marks so for those particular 25 marker questions what i'd suggest is again the same strategy go through the previous year questions make a list of all the important questions which can be asked as a 25 marker question and try to write around eight or six pages at least which are very relevant to what is needed for that topic can go in a sequential approach in the following fashion by mentioning uh, if let's say a disease is asked then etiology clinical features uh, differential diagnosis investigations management and make a conclusive remark following that so i think that has to be covered for uh, your 25 markers again previous year questions will be very helpful dr abhishek dr ali mansuri has asked on which platform to be used are e platforms helpful so DJ now damn so many platforms are there so in my personal experience since i am a cover to cover person and i'm going for something that has to be um, reinforced in exams so i went for something that i can repeat and i get i can get the best results so that is why i used only this two particular sources postgraduate of and ai however if you feel that your concepts need to be strengthened a bit more you need a visual uh, stimulus on that particular topic then yeah of course vijana is a good way however six weeks before exam don't you think it's a bit too late so that is why um, try to go on a bit if you are in your earlier phase then definitely digital videos are something that i have used i focus is also a very good platform on youtube go through them re make your concepts strong so that your revision will be faster and your future self will thank you akanksha has asked on how to actually write the exam well such that you come out with flying colors so to summarize what i like to say is first make a list of all the previous year questions by scanning the text of question papers and then copying it down in a word file uh, accumulate all the data and go through that to actually note it down in the table of contents of the book that you want to read so this is the book that you should read you should not get, get into the fear of missing out and try to complete it at least three times that was my goal uh, i wanted to complete postgraduate ophthalmology by at least three times before my exams and i was luckily able to do it that helped me recall the questions which were not asked from the previous year questions so uh, that is that actually helps a lot i'd be sharing the word document files of previous year questions in the description so please go through them those are the questions which were previous year questions for us maybe they'll help you as well all the very best dr phenomenal has asked about dnb for theory and practical so uh, we are discussing only about theory in this particular video and for theory what i'd suggest is you go through my videos on fico part one and fico part two which are here and those will be your 180 MCQs which will be asked to you in a 3 year format in your DMB theory exams. These PDFs are very well enough to get you a good score and I wish you all the very best.